so you don't want to smoke and you do want to know what your blood sugar, blood pressure, blood cholesterol, and a bit about your family history. And you want to work to lower that risk for sure. But we now know you can go way beyond that. I mentioned one thing if people, I'll mention two things. You should know if your body has excess inflammation or not. Could be your bad dental health, could be your waistline, could be your diet, could be your sleep patterns, could be your psoriasis. You should ask your doctor for two blood tests, one for inflammation called a high sensitivity C-reactive protein. People with elevated numbers need to try and dig down in sort of a functional medicine model, root cause model, why do I have elevated inflammation? Do I ever get omega-3 rich foods like chia, flax, hemp, if you eat salmon and sardines in your diet, or are you avoiding all those? Why do you have inflammation? Last time you've been to the dentist and brush your teeth and floss and water pick and all the rest. The other blood test is called lipoprotein A. And that's a big word, L-I-P-O protein, then lowercase a. It's a genetic cholesterol that affects 20 to 25% of all people from birth, causes arteries and valves to clog up may cause one out of every seven heart valve uh, replacements of the aortic valve, but less than 1% of doctors check it in patients in the office. Uh, in my office, it's 100% and it's been that way for over a decade because we've known of this cholesterol particle totally different than the usual cholesterol. Now, right now, pharmaceutical companies have no solution for this genetic cholesterol, which is why you don't hear about it, but they are working on it right now, the big boys of Novartis and Amgen. So you're going to be reading about lipoprotein A, but go ask your doctor on the next visit. Do all your blood work at a high sensitivity C-reactive protein. I want to know if I'm inflamed or not. And at a lipoprotein A, I want to know if I'm one of the 25% that inherited it. And the last thing I'd recommend, and I'm done, is early detection. You know, we go for mammography. We go for a colonoscopy or cologuard. We get a digital rectal exam. We get pelvic exams. The dentist looks in our mouth for oral cancers. What the heck do you do for your heart that kills almost 700,000 people a year in the United States? Yeah, you get a blood pressure and maybe you get your cholesterol level. That doesn't compare to colonoscopy and mammography. So there is a CT scan. You might want to do once in your life, maybe twice. If you come from a scary background, maybe around age 45, otherwise 50-55. It's called a heart calcium CT scan. It takes about five seconds. You hold your breath, you go home, no injection, no IV, no exercise. You can't be allergic to it. Uh, used to be over $1,000 when it was discovered 30 years ago. Now it's about $75. If you're lucky to be listening from Cleveland, the University Hospital in Cleveland does it for free, actually. And you always have to be careful about volunteering for CT scans because CT equals radiation equals cancer. But with this darn high heart disease risk, uh, it's a very low radiation CT scan. You only have it once, perhaps. And you want to know if your coronary artery calcium score is zero, which is the big winner, or is 1,400 or 2,200, meaning you're really in trouble and we need a real program. So if we were a little more aggressive, I use a hashtag test, not guess. And believe me, you're seeing a doctor in a medical system that usually guesses about your presence of heart disease if you've never had a heart attack stroke. We don't guess about colon cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer, you know, uterine cancer. We test for it. And we need to adopt a more aggressive strategy for the number one killer of men and women. So that's what I would recommend to people. It's actually a pretty simple, I did a consult this morning with a woman and, you know, we talked for an hour. I said, look, you only need two things. And I told you, told you, those two things right at the beginning, a few extra labs and a very simple CT scan at your local hospital costs you $75. And uh, if somebody is watching, I'm going to fill out her prescriptions in a minute. And actually, I made sure her husband gets one too. CT calcium scoring without contrast or a heart artery calcium scan. But every hospital of medium or large size offers this in every city in the United States.